Downstairs? Got him. Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. Now I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about the cycle beta because now they have lifted the NDA rule. I can freely speak about it, which is great because I'm really excited to speak about this for a long time. So, so if any veteran cycle players who missed the old cycle this video is not for you i saw in the last comments a lot of people were upset because it was not like that like the old cycle and they missed the old cycle um i'm gonna put a disclaimer this it would be video will not be for you this will be mostly with uh involved in the new cycle so if anyone's upset and they complain about it again you, we know you've tried playing it we know you um so let's start off with the the, the the start of the game, really, when you uh, first start off in the space station. You've got your own quarters, which is great. Um, inside the quarters, you have like a generator where you can um, produce Kmarts and other things. And also increase the, the stash you get whilst going around collecting things around the world. Or buying guns and attachments. I like that. That's, that's really, really cool. Um, bloody good on them. It's, it reminds me of this Visage game I did a review ages ago about. So, the whole upgrading everything seems to be really cool with that. And also your safe pockets as well. So if you ever have an item where you need to have, or if you want, you can you can put it in your safe pocket safekeepings. I like that. Because if you die or get foamed, um, you'll come back and you'll have that item in your safe pockets. Another thing I want to talk about is the map. Uh, the map is absolutely amazing. I uh, I enjoyed it. I um, I like the second one because it has a difficulty mode. So the first one is like your normal difficulty area, and then the second one is a hard area. In a small site, the normal one is a big open world area, and another and the second one is a another big open world area. However, it's got loads of cliffs and sh like and small corners and notches, so it's kind of like a uh, CQC style area although with all these maps are really cool there's also some cool little puzzle tricks in the game as well you can do like pick up power blocks and stuff uh, and you know to open secret doors there's security keys you can find around to so you can open doors in areas it's pretty cool because i believe l uh, in their discord community lc steinback I, if i've tried your name sorry did a really cool um map layout with all the like the key cards so apparently there's a quite a few dungeons mine accesses armory server rooms they work so you if you do find a key hold on to it and put it in your safe pocket because you could like properly get some cool stuff another thing i want to talk about is the weapons the the weapon thing as well is really really good um i like the fact that you can Customize your weapons, and they're also very pricey as well. So, especially the higher tier guns. I was worried that they'll make it cheap, so it'll be easier for people to kill newbies, which is good. So it also helps the new players out, I would say. And for that price, it's totally worth it. Uh, and we're talking in-game price, not microtransactions. The only microtransactions you've got to worry about is if you want to have a new character i guess which has no like no no interest in gaining stats or anything it's just the way it looks it's just vanity stuff really and i think they're gonna do that for like quarters uh like make your quarters look nice or so but if i remember correctly ages ago they wanted to work on something where you can like decorations in your quarters um but let's get back to the guns uh, each faction you work for, every time you rank up their faction, you'll get new guns to buy. Uh, you can also sell things to each faction, so whatever you find out in the world, uh, from items to weapons and whatever you, whatever stuff you stole from players, um, you can you can pretty much uh, get to them and rank up there. There are also mission lists you get from them, so if you if you're looking to get some better money and these weird strips to upgrade your quarters you go and do their mission uh, the pvp is 
absolutely wonderful. Although with the old cycle, you'd have like this, the boxer, war suit and all that. They've got rid of that, which honestly, if they put that in the game, it would just kill the entire game. Honestly, um, my fault, especially with a survival style game here. Um, PvP is really, really, really good. I like it. And it's, it's very fair. If you die, you lose everything. Or I would say foamed if you, you lose everything. Uh, I like that. That's a lot better. It makes me happy. Uh, once you get a load of things on the island, uh, or uh, whatever location you are, you have to call in an evac, which can alert a lot of people. And it could be in different random places, so uh, there'll be different areas to uh, to cover. Uh, every time you go into the, the map, you'll always find something completely new where the landing point is. So... Another thing to watch out for, because other players can see that landing pod. Uh, it will it will stay there for like, I think it's a total of over 10 seconds and, or yeah, over 10 seconds. And as soon as you hear that noise, get in the ship and get out of there. Uh, because if you just stay in the ship, people can likely kill you there. Any complaints so far with this closed beta? Uh, not really. Um, I, I, I guess the ICA guarantee is way too... It's meant to be a high tier weapon in the old cycle and on this one they've made it as a level like the second level to buy guns from which I think is pretty silly I don't know why um, if it was up to anything else it would probably be they would, they would have to work on some other guns to make it more uh, more better I'd say who knows they might have changed everything I haven't yet to have a go on that gun I'm going to grind myself up to buy that gun to see what the fuss is about because I've seen a lot of people use it. That's my little topic on this game. Uh, it's not a review, so I'm not going to throw it as a like a review of what I normally do. But I enjoy it. I enjoy the game. And you can play it too if you sign up into the request uh, access on Steam. You can give it a try for yourself. Completely free. Uh, I believe the full game will be free. But again, like I said, the developers are working very hard. Um, Vilius and the entire Cycle crew, they're always out there and chatting to you guys. So if you want to, join their Discord. And if you need any questions, you can ask in the questions and stuff, which is good. And that's about it. Corner signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.